Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And I'm talking derby today, talking pie, talking chocolate, talking bourbon, chocolate pecan. Um, can't really call it a derby pie, but you are familiar with this as a classic Kentucky Derby uh, staple for uh, race day. So we're going to get right into making pie. And I have a homemade pie crust here that I went ahead and rolled out. Um, it's very easy to make a pie crust with just like flour and butter and a little bit of cold water and using a food processor. And I think I have that on our um, Midday Kentucky Recipes page. Um, if you kind of venture through some of those videos, I know I've done that one in the past. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start fluting our pie crust here. And then we're going to make our filling. And then it goes in the oven, and it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, one of the first things that I did, and I think is not really um, talked about, uh, a lot of times when people use pecans, they just take them right out of the bag, and then they just mix them in. But you're going to want to do this step, this next step, because it's really going to add uh, more flavor. But I took pecans and walnuts, and I actually toasted them in the oven. And so by toasting them, it's going to bring out more flavor and it's going to give you a little bit more um, depth to the pie. And I think it's, it's just a crucial step that you would miss if you, if you didn't do it. So we're just going to kind of pulse these a little bit just to chop them up. And that's it. But again, toasting them first. So maybe 15 minutes in the oven at about 300 degrees, and then those are good to go. All right, now we're going to get right into the pie recipe. Uh, because it is baking, I am going to refer to my recipe. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with uh, 3 quarters cup of our brown sugar. Brown sugar has a little bit of molasses added into it, so that's also going to help to, um, you know, make it that nice and gooey uh, flavor or texture. And then we have light corn syrup, three quarters cup of light corn syrup as well. And once we get all of this mixed together, like I said, this is just going to go in the oven and just continue to bake, but it's just that... Um, richness. We have four eggs that are going in here. I'm trying to show off my skills with the one-handed crack here. We have a half a cup of melted butter. That's one stick that's melted and then it cools. And then a quarter cup of sugar, white sugar. We have three quarters cups of the uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. Teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. <laughs> it could help if I opened it. That's funny. All right, teaspoon of vanilla. And I always add in my sweet desserts just a pinch of salt. All right, I'm gonna grab another whisk <laughs> since I dropped that one. And then we're going to mix this together and we're going to put it into the pie crust. We have about three quarters cup to a cup and a half of the pecans. And then literally just whisking this all together. All right, we're going to get this into the oven. We're going to let this bake at 350 and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so we took our flour, our eggs, our brown sugar, corn syrup, a little bit of white sugar, the toasted pecans and walnuts with our chocolate chips, and um, I added a little bit of flour, about a half a cup, and almost forgot the bourbon, <laughs> but we, we saved it. We saved the pie. We added a little bourbon on top and mixed it in, 
and finish this off in the oven again at 350 just until it really is set um, and it no longer jiggles your pie crust is nice and golden brown and then the the key is really letting this sit and kind of cool uh, so that when you slice it it still holds together so if you try to slice it hot it's just going to ooze everywhere the key is letting it sit letting it cool completely and then when you slice it you've got this really dense decadent uh, chocolate bourbon pecan pie perfect for derby um, so hope you guys enjoy this your mint juleps and all the other fun stuff that goes with Derby Day. I'm Chef Allison Davis. You can find this recipe at MiddayKentucky.com forward slash recipes. We will be right back after this short break. <laughs>